Snowmobiling is awesome. It's a lot of fun. You have to like lean into your turn. Megan McGilvery and many others at Northeast Snowmobile and ATV Rentals in Gorham agree. Snowmobiling is a great way to get outdoors in the winter, but this season especially has given them plenty of challenges. Hypothetically, could start renting on December 15th, but with no snow, we had a very late start. We had a short open period in December, but then we had to shut down again because of, you know, 40 degree days and rain. A string of cold days and heavy snow events turned things around in late January with plenty of great days to hit the trails. Despite improved conditions, the delayed start to winter has already taken a toll on business. Most people think that we aren't even open, um, and so it's been very slow. I mean, typically at this point, we would have been doing, you know, 130 rentals every Saturday. I don't know if it's, you know, a full 50% down on our weekends right now, but obviously we were 100% down when we were fully shut down. The lack of snow and warmer than average conditions aren't a unique problem to this winter. We can run up here until the end of March, but that hasn't always happened. Last year we shut down just the beginning of March because we had those warm days and so we're keeping our fingers crossed. A change in climate has been linked to shorter winters here in New England. As temperatures continue to climb, the concern is that snowmobilers will also face more of these shortened seasons. Well, this has been a really strange winter. We had a very slow start with very low snowfall. At the Hubbard Brook Experimental Forest in North Woodstock, John Campbell and his team of ecologists study the changing landscape of the forest and how a warmer climate could be making an impact. Our temperatures in winter are really increasing the most. We've seen about a three and a half degree increase in temperature during winter time. Data from Climate Central shows winter temperatures all over New England and the Northeast have warmed by more than three degrees since 1970. Warmer air at the surface and throughout the atmosphere could mean fewer pure snowstorms and more mixed precipitation events. We also see an increase in rain during winter, um, and so we've seen an increase on these rain on snow events as well. Many of New Hampshire's snowmobile trails are maintained by local snowmobile clubs. If warm and wet conditions cause too many flaws in the track, they are forced to close the trails. Based out of Candia, the southern New Hampshire snow slickers have been battling warm days all winter long. We maintain about 110 miles plus of trails, three large gromas, and we do try to work with all the surrounding clubs. Yeah, it's tough. You know, it affects our income, it affects everything that we do if we don't have the snow. Back at Hubbard Brook, Campbell's team has found a concerning trend in New Hampshire's forests. We started making measurements in 1955 and over that 68 year record, we've uh, seen a decline in the snowpack by about nine inches. Uh, so pretty substantial changes in the snowpack. Every inch of that snowpack is so valuable for creating a good base and a long season spent out on the trails. For now, snowmobilers are learning to deal with this winter's punches and are looking ahead to salvaging what's left of the season. It's obviously us that love the sport, um, hate this type of season, but uh, it is what it is, we move on. We just hope a lot of people can experience, you know, our, you know, really great nature that we have up here in Maine and New Hampshire. All right, now take off. For forecasting our future, I'm meteorologist Matt Honig, WMUR News 9.